Good afternoon, everybody. This is Judge V with Positive Affirmations. Today I want to talk about something that is kind of dear to my heart and a lot of people have uh, inboxed me about, and it is called the betrayal of a friend. When we look at friends, these are people who support us, that love us, they give us encouragement, that motivate us to be greater than what we are. There's a saying that people come into your life for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. Their reason is to give you that love, that encouragement, that support. But at some point, that season is over. And what we do is we become angry. Why isn't this person uh, returning my calls after I shared my vision? Why is this person not supportive of what I want to do? Why is this person no longer available to give me what they had been giving me before? And that's love, positive affirmation, and support. One of the things that my mother has always criticized me about, she says, Vonda, you give 100%. But because a person may give 30% doesn't mean that that's any less. So I wanted to do a demonstrative. That's what we call it in the law. If this is what I give, that's my hundred. And this is what someone else gives. They're giving the same. The capacity is different. Their capacity is at 30%. Your capacity is at 100. Does it make that person any less? Absolutely not. And what I want you to do, and I'm challenging you to do, is don't hold grudges. Don't be angry that these people have somehow disappeared. This season was over. In life, we have four seasons. Winter spring, summer, and fall. And I don't care how much you pray, when that season is done, it's over. And what we have to understand is, is that just as there are uh, seasons in life with the weather, there's seasons in life with friendship. And so stop being angry or disappointed by what someone should have done that you would have done differently. Accept their love. Accept their support. And grow from it. And know that they were there at a time when you didn't believe in yourself. And when you have the courage to go forward, you find yourself alone. You find yourself without any friends. It's really a challenge. You know, it's tell you something about eagles. Eagles mate for life and they soar high. They don't have anyone to look to for support because they're at a greater altitude because God has created them to grow and to fly at a level that the chicken and the pigeon can't. See, both, all of them have wings, but none of them dare to exercise their ability to grow. A chicken can fly, but he doesn't believe he can. A pigeon can soar so far, but an eagle, an eagle takes that chance and lets the wind get under his wings and takes him to greater levels. So when you decide that you are an eagle, you're going to find yourself alone. You're going to find yourself without support. But what you have to do instead of being angry at the people who you feel betrayed you, Thank them for their gift and say, because of their gift, I'm able to stand where I am. But don't let their lack of response or, or the negative criticisms keep you at being a pigeon. You were designed to be an eagle, to soar high. And don't let anyone deter you or distract you because the purpose that is in you was not given to you by them. It was bred into you from the foundation of this world to go grow high, 
to soar high, to be a better person, to give more. So please, my request to you is don't allow people and circumstances to limit your gift. You know, people laughed at no one till it rained. Go forward, go high. One of the worst things in life is never failing. It's not trying to win. And what we do is we learn from those growth situations. We learn from failure. You know, it's my belief that failure teaches us more about life than all the successes are combined. But my point being to you is, don't be angry with people who have betrayed you, who have left you, who have decided not to support you. I always tell my defendants it's something like this. If you have anger, no blessing can get in. But when you release it, all the blessings flow. My challenge to you today, let the blessings flow in your life. Release the anger. Release the disappointment. And be thankful that those, pers those individuals that you knew came into your life for a reason. And now this season is over. And embrace that. Learn from it. And most importantly, grow from it. This has been Positive Affirmations by Judge V. I hope I bless you. And if I have, please share. God bless you. Have a great day.